Good afternoon. My name is Mike Zaremski, a member here of the Charles Schwab Futures Team. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today on Schwab Coaching. This is a special edition of Spotlight on Futures here, where today we're going to kind of focus on our transition over from the street smart platforms over to Think or Swim. And what we really want to do here is uh, really just get our futures traders comfortable with moving over here to the Thinkorswim platforms here. So joining me today, we have education coach, Mr. Ken Roja. Ken, good afternoon to you. Thanks, Mike. Uh, great to be here today. Looking forward to discussing some of the great and effective tools we have available to us over here on the Thinkorswim platform for, future tr for futures traders. So, so let's begin here in one moment, but before we begin, let's go through some important information here. First, we wanna note that any information provided here will be for general information purposes only and not be considered individualized recommendations or personalized investment advice. Any expressions of opinion are subject to change without notice and reacting to shifting market conditions. We'll also be looking at some charts today. We do want to note that Schwab does not recommend the use of technical analysis as a sole means of investment research. We'll also be discussing the futures markets today. And we do want to note that futures and futures option trading uh, is involves substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors. So if you're interested in trading futures with us, we do ask that you please read the risk disclosure statement for futures and options. And of course, we always welcome your questions here on Schwab Coaching. So if you have any questions there, we have uh, Scott Thompson there today manning the chat there, and he'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And we'll try to get to as many questions as we can during today's presentation here. So in just a minute here, let me pull up our Street Smart Central platform here. And what I'm gonna do here is kind of introduce what is a big week here for our futures traders here. Futures trading is moving from Street Smart Central over to the Thinkorswim platform uh, this Sunday, March 24th. And I just wanna kind of highlight it here on our Street Smart Central platform here. And what we did here is we mentioned here, we have some upcoming webcasts here so you could kind of learn uh, what's going on with the Thinkorswim platform here, kind of showing demonstrations here about using Thinkorswim, as well as we created a frequency asked questions here that I wanna highlight here as well too. So when you have a moment here, go through our frequency asked questions here to get yourself more familiar with what's going on with Thinkorswim here and uh, kind of go through some of the uh, commonly asked questions we've had from our traders here going through the Thinkorswim platform there. So definitely uh, good information here provided here to go through at your leisure. Now, what I wanted to do is kind of introduce uh, one of those frequency asked questions here. And uh, that is actually about going to our watch list page here on Think or Swim. So I know a lot of clients here have set up a, a, a pretty substantial watch list here on Street Smart Central. And uh, one of the questions we have is, is there a good way we can migrate these watch lists over to Think or Swim and not have to entering all the symbols here. And uh, we actually did come up with that here and I wanna show you how you would go about downloading your watch list into Think or Swim. First thing we're gonna do here is go to the top here, you got this little arrow here and this little setting here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that and where it says download this watch list too, I want you to select Think or swim import format. So let me click on that here. And once you do that and download, what it will do is it opens up a Excel file there that will be saved to your desktop there. And what you can do is you could save that Excel there to your desktop there and upload it to the Think or Swim platform. So let's do that here. I titled this futures SSC for my watch list. So let me now migrate over to our Thinkorswim platform here. And I'm gonna show you how to create a watch list here on Thinkorswim desktop, as well as upload that file here to 
the platform here. So let's go and to our watch list uh, little uh, tool here as well too. And I want to click on that here and I'm going to create a watch list. So I'm going to call this here futures and we're going to call it toss, futures toss. So once I've done that, I want to save it here and it's created my watch list here. Now, what I want to do is I want to do that upload here. So I'm going to once again, left click on that here and I'm going to click here on import. So let's go and import that. So we're going to look for a file here. We're going to click on select file here and that'll bring up my futures SSC that I've saved on my desktop there. Hit OK. And once that's populated here, I'm going to click on OK. And we see now my watch list here has been pre populated directly from SSC onto the TOSO. So that's a nice, quick, and easy way to get your watch list set up here on the platform. Now, I'm also a new client here on think or swim here as well too. So what I'm gonna kind of show you here as an, a trader here who's traded on the Street Smart Central platform here for quite some time here as well too. And I wanna show you how I have kind of transitioned myself over from think or swim over to, to this think or swim platform here. And what I find useful here to kind of uh, use as a futures trader myself. So like I did, I created my watch list here on the Thinkorswim platform here. But what I also like to have here on this left-hand rail here, I like to have my account information here on top. I have my news little section here as well too, my watch list, and I also have the trader TV section here on the left-hand side. If I want a little more, more room on my right-hand side here, I can just click on this arrow here and provide a wider screen there for my information there. If I want to truncate it back, do the same thing there as well. If I want to add or subtract any of these tools here from the left-hand side, I just click on this customized gadget here and I could delete, let's say I want to delete Trader TV, delete that there. If I want to add something here, let's say I want to add level two quotes, I click my select gadget, and a level two quotes will be there as well too. So it's very simple here by using the plus symbol there as well as the little gadget side as well too. So like I said, very customizable here on the desktop platform. Now, I wanna go through some of the other screens here that I, I use as a new client here to Thinkorswim is one of them, I always start out by looking at the monitor tab. Because what's very helpful here about the monitor tab is you can see all your trading activity for the day. So for instance, we have any working orders I have open here. If I just click on this little arrow here, I can see that I have one open order here. And this is an open order here for the micro E-mini S&P 500 there. And I have a stop order here at 53.43, good for today's trade. So if I wanna see my working orders, just go to this working orders section here. Next, I wanna see how many orders were actually executed today or filled orders there. Just click on this tab here and I could see that I had a couple buy orders as well as one sell order here. And I could see the symbol that I traded as well as my price of execution there. And finally, if I had any orders that I canceled, I can get a list of all my canceled orders here as well. So I've had uh, six orders total that were canceled in today's trade. So let's close these up here as well. And I can also look at my position statement section here to see any open orders I currently have here on the platform. So right now, as you can see here, I have an open position in the E micro. S&P 500 futures. I'm currently one long contract here. I can see my price here of my open order, where the market is currently trading, as well as my open position or loss on this open position here. So currently on this trade here, I am up about $30 for that position here. And then I also get a running total of my 
profit or loss during the day. So it's all here on one page here as well too, as well as seeing my current account balance there, as well as available dollars there for any additional trades I may want to take there. So definitely some good information here right on the monitor page. So when I go log into my thinkorswim platform there, always start out the day looking at the monitor page. Now, of course, we're on this here to actually trade here as well too. So I wanna show you our trade page here. Now this trade tab here, a good place to start here would be the all products. Now, why do you wanna stay on all products? Uh, one reason is if you wanna see all the futures products that we have available here on Thinkorswim. So if I go to the little tab heading here called futures there, I could just scroll down here and could list all the futures products currently available on Thinkorswim. And if you're an SSC futures trading client here, you'll notice here that on Thinkorswim, there's a more elaborate number of micro futures available than we had currently on SSC. So for instance, we have products here that uh, we have some of the uh, micro uh, cryptocurrencies, we have some micro metals there that are available, micro natural gas. So definitely an expanded amount of uh, contracts available now on the Thinkorswim platform there. So definitely uh, kind of take a look here and just get an idea of the vast array of products that will be available to our futures trading clients here. So let's just choose one here as well. I'm gonna choose a product here. Let's look at the Euro currency here. I'm gonna put that there as well too. And on the next section here, I see what, if you are familiar with the SSC platform, this is what I would kind of call the uh, futures chain here that lists all the futures months for that particular product here. So this is all the months available currently for Euro currency futures here. And you get to scroll down and see amount of contract expirations available here. But what's nice here about Thinkorswim here is we also note here which contract is the most active. You'll notice there's a little active uh, notation here on that month. So this is the June contract for Euro currency futures. Shows the number of days till expiration. As well as you can see the uh, last price bid and offer as well as the quote size here. So that's 76 here is the number of contracts available at this bid price of 109.04, as well as the number of contracts available at the sell side, which is 109.5. Today's trading volume as well as open, high, low, and close. So you can kind of get a full glimpse there, kind of like you see on our quote detail page on the SSC or Street Smart Central platform there as well too, all available on this trade page here as well. Now, if the contract has options on futures available as well, you can see that below here on our options chain page as well too, showing all the contract months of options that are available here for the Euro currency futures there. So you can look at any of the products we have here in our list and if there's options available, it will show up below there as well too. Let's go to crude oil here. You can see here, these are the months for crude oil, including weeklies and daily options as well too. So you also see an expanded number of options available here also on the Thinkorswim platform there. So this is a good play to, if you wanna take a look at a particular contract there, see the uh, quotes there, see if there's any options available. This trade all products tab here is a great place to get all this information for you. Now, I want to show you uh, some of our futures trading screens as well. I want to highlight one here that is kind of a unique here. We don't have this currently on Street Smart Central. It's called our Active Trader page. And what's nice about the Active Trader section is here, you could have a chart right next to your trading screen here. And what this trading screen is called, is called the ladder there. Because if you notice there, we show prices going up on the market, going down on the market, as well as you can see the bid size and ask size for several different prices, both up and down from the current 
market price. And what that's called is depth of market. Now, depth of market will show you the, the size of the bid, the size of the ask, not just for the current best buy and best sell, but also going out eight to 10 prices up from the current market price and down from the current market price. So what that kind of shows you is it shows you the depth and liquidity of a particular market for prices going out eight to 10 prices from the current price. So why is that important? One of them is like on a market here, like the micro e mini, you can see it's a very liquid market. There's, you know, double digit size trades on each and every price. But let's say you're trading a market that's a little bit thinner here. Let's go find a market that doesn't have quite the liquidity there. Let's look at some like, uh, let's go, let's take a look here. Let's look at the micro Canadian dollar, for instance. You could check the liquidity there, also very liquid. Let's find another market there and kind of seeing that may not be as active here. Let's see something like, here, this is the uh, Nikkei futures, for instance. Let's try that one here. Here you can see that the size on the bid and ask going out is a lot smaller. A lot of times it's single digits as well on each side. So if you were a larger trader, then let's say you wanted to trade 100 contracts. You would know that if you were to place, let's say, a market order here at the ask, Right now, there's only one contract available there as well, too. So if you put a market order in for 100 contracts, you would actually move the market quite a bit to absorb your order there. So that can give you a clue that says, okay, I want to move some larger size order there. I may want to kind of focus on a limit order at a certain price to know that I'm not pushing the market uh, to an, avid, an unadvantageous price for the size of my trade there. So that's why having this depth of market is really key, especially to learn the liquidity of a market, as well as if you're trying to move maybe a little bit bigger number of contracts here than the market could support at the current bid or offer there. So that's kind of important here. Now what's also nice about this screen is that, especially a lot of the features here in TOS as well, think or swim here, is that there's a lot of customization you could do to each of these particular pages here. So what you'll learn here when you want to try to customize a page here, you want to look for this little bit of like this little gear here. And when I click on the gear, you can see the available items that you can add to that particular tool. So for instance there, if I wanted to add, let's say a reverse option there, I could just highlight by clicking, left clicking on it. Click on the Add Items tab here, which brings it over here to the ones you want to add to your Zoom, and then just hit OK. And you can see those additional features added to your tool here. So currently, what I have defaulted here, I have what's buy market. So if I wanted to buy, let's say, the Nikkei at the market, I could do so. I could click on a Sell button here, and I'll place an order to sell there. So for instance, let me kind of demonstrate here. Let's say I wanted to buy this Nikkei contract at the market. I just click on this green button, buy market. And then I have my confirm and send page, which shows the description of my order, buy one June Nikkei future at the market. It shows me the commission for that particular trade. In this case here, $2.25. It also shows me the effect of my buying power. And what, what's good about that is you can see, all right, do I have enough money to do this trade here? So I need $9,350 on this page here in order to place this trade. So let's say I do, I my account balance on this here, this is the simulated account here is over 100,000. So I do have the ability to do that. So let's click on the confirm and send button. And now I can see that my order here has been executed. And I could see here a running total of my current open position. So currently I am long one contract. It shows me the price of my execution there. And then if I want to, let's say, close out the trade, I could click on the sell market if I just want to get out immediately, or I can place a limit order away from the market here. So let's say I want to try to sell it there if the market goes to 39.905. 
I can just go here and where I click on the cell side, the ask here, you notice it says cell one limit. I just left click on that. I get my confirm and send. So I want to sell one of these Nikai contracts here at 39.905. That's what I want to do. Click on confirm and send. And now my limit order is working here at a price of 39.905. Notice I could see here a running total of where my order is here right on the ladder here. And I can also see where that price is here on my chart as well too. So that's really a good way to kind of visualize is this limit above where it's currently trading there? Is it an area there where it's been trading uh, quite a bit over the past uh, few minutes here? Because this is a one minute chart I have on here. Now, if I want to adjust my order, I could either move it down. Let's say I want to make it to 39,900, adjust my price. Confirm and send. But notice how easy it is just to shift my prices here and then just confirm it there. Very simple, one movement, confirm it, you're all set to go there on your order. So that's really just kind of a key thing to kind of look at here. And one of the advantages, I think, as a futures trader who maybe is an active trader in and out, how quick and easy I can adjust my prices here by using the thinkorswim ladder here. Now, let's say, for instance, I am long now, and all of a sudden I see the market moving against me, and I want to reverse my trade. What I can do there is I could click on this reverse button here. Let's click on reverse, and what they'll do is they'll set up an order there to sell two contracts. In other words, take me from going from long one to going to short one. If I want to do that, click on that. I have now sold my position and now I've gotten short one contract as well. Like I said, one click and you're done. So very good, especially for those active traders as well. Let's show you another feature here that I want to show you here on Thinkorswim that's currently not available on Street Smart Central, but is good for those uh, customers here who like to trade maybe one market versus another, and that's called Pairs Trader. And what Pairs Traders does is you could put an order to buy one market and at the same time sell another market. So for instance, let's assume here, I have the E-mini S&P 500 on the left side here. I also have the NASDAQ 100 on the other side of this Pairs Trader. And let's think, my scenario is I think that the NASDAQ is going to outperform the S&P. So I want to go long the NASDAQ's futures and go short the S&P 500 futures. I could do this scenario here by using this pair traders. So what I want to do here, I want to sell the pair. In other words, I want to sell the one on the left side, the ES or E-mini S&P 500 and I wanna buy the NQ or the NASDAQ 100. So I'm gonna click on this sell pair feature there. And what they'll do is they'll allow me to place an order there to sell that NASDAQ there. And at the same, I'm sorry, buy the NASDAQ there and at the same time sell the E-mini S&P 500. And you could do all that just from one screen here as well. So this is a nice feature here as well to, to be able to place these inter-commodity spreads directly here from this platform there. So just what you want to kind of look at here as well too. We could also do it for gold and let's say you want to do something like gold and silver as well too. Another way you could do these kind of scenarios here directly here from this platform there. So I want to take a look here and see if there's any questions here. And if not, what I want to do here is I want to turn it over to Ken Rose here, who's going to show you another cool tool and feature that are available on Thinkorswim. And that is our scripts uh, tool here as well, too. So Ken, I'm going to let you take over the screen share and turn it over to you to show you Thinkorswim scripts. Thanks, Mike. That, that, that was a great presentation, a lot of very valuable information. You know, 
there's a lot of different things we can do on the Thinkorswim platform. And in fact, it becomes almost overwhelming when you look at all the tools that are available to you. So what I'd like to do actually is start off by showing you where you can get the Think Manual. And let me just shift gears here for just a second and pull it up here for you. So this is the Think Manual. And the nice thing about this is all that great information that Mike shared with you about pairs trading and the monitor tab and those types of things. If you want to take a little bit of time and dig down and read some of the specifics related to that, you can find those things here in the Think Manual. There is a link right up here to the Think Manual. I'll go ahead and send this to you over in the chat window. However, I also, also want to give you a, a, a little bit of a heads up, both, both, for, both, of, both for those of you that are here and also for those who may be catching this as an archive. Um, the links that I'll be discussing here will all be in the YouTube notes. So if you look at the bottom of your YouTube window, you'll see a short description. And part of that description, you'll see the word more. Give us about two hours after this session is over. Then when you click on more there, you'll see a short description of today's lesson, along with a listing of all the links including a link for the for the think manual now part of the part part of the think manual is a section on think scripting and that's the part that we're looking at right now in fact let me back up one screen right here so this this is actually what the think manual will look will look like to begin with and you've come down here you can click down here and get more details with regards to think scripting and how to use scripts on the thinkorswim platform <clears throat> and so I just want to show you this. We're not, we're, we're not really going to jump. We're not going to jump in here and go into a lot of details here. So I just want to give you an overview of scripts and how they are typically used on the Thinkorswim platform. So let's shift gears and go back over to the Thinkorswim platform and just take a look at a couple of examples. And first of all, what, what, what I'd like to show you is an example of a label. One, um, one of the things you can do with labels is you can get a lot of, of great information and have it available to you on the charts. So that you don't have to, so that you don't have to go to other areas of the website to find that information. A lot of times, with regards to futures, one of the questions that comes up is, how much is the notional value in in relationship to those futures? So here we have four slash ES. I can click on the menu right here, and I can come down here right where I where I have the E mini for the S and P five hundred. I can see that each tick is twenty, each tick is a quarter of a point, and each quarter of a point is twelve fifty. And I can do some math in my head and figure out, okay, so for, for, for each point, for the, for the E-mini here, each point is $50, which is, which, which is nice. But wouldn't it, wouldn't it also be nice if you could just pull up the symbol? And if you had a future symbols up here, it gives you all the information right here. And if you change to different future symbols, it would automatically update that information for you. With the thing, with the with uh, with the tool that we have with regards to ThingScript, that's exactly one of the one of the many things you could do. And I'm just going to show you an example. Of that. I'm going to come up here on our chart right here. And by the way, some of you are probably looking at my chart and saying, "Wait, wait, that looks much that that looks a whole lot different from Mike's chart." So one of the nice things about ThinkOrSwim is you have a lot of control over the appearance. Some folks like the dark appearance. Some folks like the light appearance. I wanted to bring up the I wanted to bring up the light appearance just so we can kind of get an idea of the two different ends of the end, ends of the spectrum in relationship to that. But with regards to the label, I'm going to come up here on the chart. I'm just going to come up here where it says studies. I'm going to click on studies. Underneath studies, I'm going to choose edit studies. And underneath edit studies, I've got this box up here, edit studies and strategies. I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to start typing in the name of the study that I want right here. And the name, the name that I study that I want here is the futures label. So I'm just going to start typing in futures. And all all of the studies that are in there, they are they are listed in alphabetical order. And right here we have our futures label version two. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add selected. It brought it over here. I'm going to come over here and click on apply. Come over here and click on OK. And so now you can see when I have the when when I have the ES, it tells me the tick size, it tells me the tick value, and it does the math for me with with regards to my point value. If I come over here and change, for example, if I come over here to the NASDAQ and change over here, you can see that that label updates for you. One of the things I really like about this label is, is, is if you get into the treasury futures, you know, sometimes the calculation, the point value of that can be somewhat exceedingly complex, and this makes it uh, quite easy to get those numbers quickly for you. There's gold and, and, and here's oil as well. I just brought up a few here with, with regards to just give, giving us some samples. That's, so this is an example of a label. Now, when you think about think scripting, one of the first questions that I usually have is, you know, Ken, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not a computer programmer. I really don't want to do that kind of stuff. I totally understand that. And that's one of the beauties of think scripting is you don't need to learn how to script anything at all in order to, in order to take advantage of this tool. The reason for that is if someone has written a script, they can share it with you very easily. 
and you can implement it on your platform very easily. And we do that through links. For example, this script right here, if I wanted to share this link with everybody here, and, and, and I'm more than happy to do that, what I would do is I'd come up here to where it says studies right here, and I'd come down here and choose edit studies. Here is my customized script right here. And I just clicked on the open label right here, this open scroll, I should say. When that scroll comes up, I can see all the code. So one, th one thing they can do is they can share the code with you if you want it, or if you just want the link itself, or in other words, you just want the label, you don't want to fool around with all the code. They just come up here and click on share. After they click on share, this little box comes up. Says, hey, do you want to share with them? And you just confirm that and you click on share here. I'm not going to click on share here. When you do click on share here, it copies the link into the computer's memory, but I already have a link in the computer's memory, so I don't need to copy an additional one. But that's basically what you do. Click on share here, then after you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Then you can share that link with them. You can basically send it to them uh, via, via email. What I'll do here is I'll go ahead as an example, I'll post this link over in the chat window there. Let me just close this up right here and open up the chat window. I'm going to start off the link, though. I'm going to give you a little introduction over there in the chat window before I send that link. So here is my introduction that we like to send out with all the links. Okay, and the introduction is just to just remember, just to, just something to remember that the scripts are for educational purposes only, are not a recommendation, and are not guaranteed for time or accuracy. So do keep that in mind. And I'm going to grab that futures label link and send it over to you over there in the chat window as well. Hey, Sinead, have it over in the chat window. Now, now you may be asking, okay, so I got this link in, and now what do I do? Well, that's kind of the beauty of just how easy it is. You actually don't need to click on the link. It's just a, a real simple process of copying and pasting. Now, also, just a reminder, uh, right now you're seeing that link over there in the chat window again. Um, if you want to copy it from there, you can, but you don't have to, because about two hours after this session is over, bottom of the YouTube window, where you have the short description, click on more. When you open that up, you'll see detailed description and you'll see links for everything that I'll be discussing here over the next few minutes, including this link with regards to the futures label. By the way, while we're talking about the YouTube window, go down to the bottom there. If you look over in the right hand corner, there's a subscribe button. I'd strongly encourage you to click on that subscribe button. That helps to that helps to ensure that you'll be kept up to date with the latest and the greatest from the Trader Talks channel and join the thousands of other folks that are currently benefiting from that. So just a little bit of a heads up in relationship to that as well. Okay, so let's say that you have the link and you've copied the link. Well, once you have that here on the Thinkorswim platform, just come up here in the upper right hand corner where it says set up and click on that little gear right there. And after you click on that gear, you'll have a, you'll have a, a menu choice right here. It says open shared item. So you click on open shared item and this box will come up and this is where you paste the link. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the link. There is the link, and I'm going to just make sure I've just got the link and nothing else. There we go. So there's the link, and once you once you have it pasted in there, then you come up, you just come up here and click on preview. And after you click on preview, it'll it'll give you a box down here where you where you can put in a name for the link, and you definitely want to name. And I'm not, and I'm not actually naming the link. What I'm doing is I'm naming the study. So you'll get a box down here to name and you want to name it because if you don't name it, you won't be able to find it. OK, now I actually already have this, so I'm just going to call this one. Test, OK, I'll, I'll do test one, two, three, just just so that I can find it quickly because I already have it and I, and I, and I already have it named the futures label. But I'm going to go ahead and save this so that we can go in and bring it up and just just so I can go through the process of joining that. But you want to put in something here different like futures label or something along those lines. But after you have after you have the name in there that you've chosen, go ahead and click on import. And it says it was imported successfully. So now now when I want to bring it up and have it available on my chart, so I just come up here to studies then and come over here to edit studies. And I know the name that I gave it was test, right? T E S T. There it is right there. There's Test one, two, three, I, 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 I would highlight it here, then I'd go ahead and click on add selected and it would move it over here. Of course, we already have the label, so I'm, so I'm not actually going, going to move it over there, but that's, 
that's primarily what we're, what we're talking about as far as sharing these links. Now, right now we're just sharing a link for a label. In fact, let me, let me do this. Let me pull up a different label because we already have that one. Uh, I'm going to pull up this label because a lot of folks like this label as well. This is called a comparison label. You can use it with futures as well as stocks, but I'm going to go ahead and choose that selected here. And we'll apply that. And this is, this is a label that compares the securities performance to the S&P 500. You can actually go in and you can change it from this security to, to an individual stock or possibly another, another, another future. This is saying uh, this, is, this, this, this is the performance for crude oil. This is the performance for the S&P 500. Crude oil has underperformed the S&P 500 over the time frame on the chart by 8.77%. If I shift gears here and go to a, a stock symbol like Apple, you'll notice that we no longer have the label. We no longer have the futures label, which is nice because we don't want it, but, but we still do have the performance label. Now, the link for the performance label, um, I'll put those in the YouTube notes, okay? Now, in addition to labels, there are other things that you can do, okay? Down here is a study, I, I, and I, I, wanted to bring this, I wanted to bring this study up specifically because it's only available um, through, through Thinkorswim, okay? And it is a study that, that, was, that was developed primarily for indices. And when you think about futures, a lot of the futures are, are like indices. They represent groups of, groups of things rather than, rather than individual companies. Now, there is a process and a methodology of, of using this particular indicator. It's called the market forecast indicator. There's a process as far as using it and how to use it to determine potential entry and exit signals. We haven't got time to go into that here today. However, in the YouTube notes, click on more of the detailed description. You'll see a link in there to a YouTube video that takes you through the process of, what, of, of how traders use the market forecast. Okay, now this is in a very rough form. Another nice thing that you can do with regards to thing scripting is you can take an existing study and you can dress it up a little bit so it's more user friendly and, and easier to use. To show you a sample of that, I'm gonna come up here to studies and come down here and choose edit studies. And I'm gonna bring up another version of that market forecast right here. And I'm gonna take this one off because it's taken up real estate. Okay, so this, so this, so this is another version of the market forecast. Say the lines are in the same places. It's just built differently to give us some to give us some values uh, specifically that we can see very easily and to identify when we have bullish and bearish situations and signs related to that. Okay, now you may look at this and say, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I know where I can go and watch a YouTube video on how to use it, but how can I really tell how, 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 how effective it is? Well, again, because it is written primarily for indices, it can be used with individual stocks, but it, 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 it is written for indices. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to pull up uh, forward slash ES right here. And I'm just, what we want to do is we want to take a look at, at what we want to do is, is we want to take a look at back testing, okay? And back to a situation where if we took this study right here and we identified potential entry and exit signals, we could go on our chart and we could go back one year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, and we could start and we could just follow the lines, follow the lines down here and say, okay, there's an entry. We could make an entry on a spreadsheet, then we could take an exit on a spreadsheet, so on and so forth. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do that in seconds rather than spend an hour or two hours? Well, we can actually do that by using by using uh, strategies. And to show you a sample of the strategy that's been built around the market forecast, I'm gonna come up here to studies, I'm gonna come down here to edit studies, and here is strategies right here. And we're gonna go into market forecast here. And there's our market forecast strategy. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply. There we go right there. And you can see now on our chart, we see we see entries, we see exit, and we see and we and 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 we see entries. Now this is just a this is this is just a one year chart. Okay, notice that it does get us in. We're able to capitalize on this. It gets us in right here. Not too much going on here. It gets us out here, and we're, and we're able to avoid this loss. Well, if we want to look at things over a longer period of time, let's go two years rather than one year here. And you could go out four years or five years. Now you're seeing now you're seeing several entry and exits. 
Well, this doesn't tell us, though, very quickly whether or not this has been profitable or not. Well, one of the things you do is just point one of your entry or exits, do a right click right here, choose show report right here. And this gives you a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will show you over, over a particular period of time whether or not overall that particular strategy has been profitable. So I'm looking at this right now, I'm saying, hey, you know what? The total, the, the total profit loss here is a minus 2,912. So from here, what you could do is you could go in and you could tweak the entries here, okay? You could also look at different aggregation periods like, week, like weeks and, 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 and different things like that. So there, so there are some things that you can do to tweak it once you kind of get an idea of what's going on here, okay? All right, so that is backtesting and that's how, that's how quickly you can backtest. So now, um, now, um, in addition to uh, labels, um, customized studies, running back tests, you can use ThinkScripts for customized columns with regards to your, uh, when, when, when you're looking at a listing of stocks, you can use scripts to customize scans. You can do very complex scans. You can use scripts when you're trading to trigger trades. If I can order all products, I could, I could come in here and buy a future, I could sell a future, and I could use scripts to identify what is specifically going on when that trigger occurs or possibly when that alert occurs. Possibly we may want to look at a moving average crossover or something along those lines. The important thing to remember investors is that there are so many things that you can do with scripts, number one, and number two, you don't need to be a computer programmer, okay? If you attend uh, a, lot of, a lot of our coaching sessions, you'll see a lot of coaches uh, use scripts and they're more than happy to share those with everyone, okay? So anyway, hopefully that, uh, that helps you become familiar with those. And with that, Michael, I think I've, hopefully I haven't confused anybody too much. <laughs> okay. Well, well, thank you, Ken. That was a great description there of the things uh, scripts there as well too, and uh, how you could you know, not be a programmer there, but get all these great analytical tools here available on the Thinkorswim platform. Now we do have some time here for a few questions here. And actually, uh, let me go back and share my screen here for a minute there, because we have a question here from Michael regarding, uh, can you see time and sales for a particular product there on the streets? I'm sorry, on the Thinkorswim platform. And yes, you, you definitely can here as well too. So let's bring that up here as well. Let me get my screen share going real quick. One minute here, we'll get that up here. And I could show you where you could pull that up here. Okay, if you, what you can do is on Thinkorswim, I'm in a little trouble there getting my screen share going here, but let's see if I can get that resolved here. Okay, what you wanna do here, if actually Ken's got his screen up here as well too. So Ken, if you go to, let's go to the, uh, the trade and let's go to active trader if you could pull that up here and then on the uh if you go to those those little tabs there that should be to the left of the screen there on the uh, active trader there ken's going to bring that up here i want you to select the one that says t and s or time and sales so let ken bring that up here and i could show you there where you could see the time and sales there for the particular product that we're looking at here. Yeah, so Mike, I'm not seeing time and sales right now. I think I know what you mean, uh, but I'm just not seeing, like right here, we should have that, right? Correct, yes, on the left-hand rail there on the yeah, screen, yeah, there's time and sales there. There's a couple different options there as well too, but it's, yeah, it's the tab that's called TNS, and it'll show you kind of a running, uh, aggregate there of the trades that are taking place, the price and the quantity that traded at those given prices there. So it kind of gives you a, a glimpse there. Are there a lot of buy orders coming in, a lot of sellers coming in, or is it more of a kind of a, a mixed a market there as well too? So uh, hopefully that will answer your, your question there. And let's see if uh, Ken can actually bring that up here real quick. Yeah, so, I, oh, you know what, let me try this. I think I may have the, there we go. Active All right, now we're cooking here. There you go, the TNS there. there. there yes. So yeah, this is that time and sales there, and that's available there. So you could have the chart up there. You could have your trading platform, and you could see, like I said, the running total of trades 
taking place in the market there. So yeah, definitely kind of a very uh, neat feature there to have all on one screen. I think that's kind of the, the core here with Thinkorswim as well too. That's very customizable. You can create your own templates here for the screen, however you want to set it up there. And you can save that as well using the uh, setup tool right at the top right hand side there as well too. It can let you save your uh, your desktop there so you can come back each and every day and have the screen just as you like it. Uh, unfortunately, we're at time here today though, but uh, we're definitely going to have more of these uh, walkthroughs here of the Thinkorswim platform, especially for our Street Smart Central clients is to get them acclimated to the new platform here as well too. Plus we'll also have a recording of today's presentation as well too that you can look at it at your leisure. And uh, Ken will be joining me back on Thursday morning at 9.30 Eastern time. We're gonna go through the Thinkorswim web platform as well too and kind of show you that feature there for those clients there who uh, may not need all the great tools and features available on the desktop program here, but still want to have a very powerful trading vehicle as well, too, that's available on any web browser as well, too. So once again, I want to thank Ken for his, his help here today, demonstrating Thinkorswim, especially the Think Scripts as well, too. And for, I want to thank all our viewers here for joining us today as well, too. So I hope you'll tune in on Thursday there. We'll go through uh, Thinkorswim web as well. Once again, thank you for joining us today and have a great trading week.